please welcome Congressional District 8 Republican nominee, Abe Hamaday. Arizona, are you fired up? Yeah. Are you ready to send President Trump back to the White House? Yeah. And he's going to need some help out there. Are you ready to send J.D. Vance as a Vice President of the United States? Yeah. And are you ready to send Kerry Lake to the United States Senate? Believe me, we need every single one of us to go up there to Washington, D.C. We are fighting a corrupt system that's after the people. I think all of us know what's at stake this November. We've seen what they're capable of. They've locked up so many of our friends, pro-lifers in our movement. They've locked up Steve Bannon, Peter Navarro. I think Steve Bannon gets free in a few days, doesn't he? But we've seen what these people are capable of. And they are terrified of you. And they are scared of you because they know we are more powerful than we can ever even imagine. We are going to save our country. We are going to honor our founding fathers, honor every single veteran who served our country, and rescue the America we love. It's amazing how much these Democrats have destroyed our country over the past four years, isn't it? Our border is completely open. It's an invasion. We've had 10, 20 million illegal immigrants pour across our southern border. And what does the Biden-Kamala Harris administration do? They give them free health care. They give them money, free flights. They give them free housing. And what do they do to every single one of us? They treat us like second-class citizens. President Trump is for America first because he loves America, and that's why we have to go fight for him. It's amazing what these Democrats are capable of, isn't it? It's, this is not the same Democrat party we're dealing with from 30 years ago. This is very different. And if you look at President Trump, look at his policies that he's offering. Who wants no taxes on Social Security? No taxes on tips. And no taxes on overtime. But truly, President Trump, we need him back more than ever. When I was serving overseas in the United States Army Reserve, I got to witness firsthand what leadership looks like under both President Trump and Biden. When I was over there, you could see our enemies were emboldened. And our allies right now, they no longer respect us. But with President Trump, what did he do? He killed Qasem Soleimani on the battlefield. He brought peace to the Middle East. The Abraham Accords, that was amazing. And there's so much more work that we have to finish and what these Democrats have done to destroy our border, our elections, our economy. And that's exactly why we're going to send him back to the White House. I think all of us know you feel it in our gut right now, truly, that we were placed at this moment for a reason. We really were. And I want every single one of you to understand that we've got 13, 14 days to save our great republic. And it's, it's not just the United States of America we are saving. We are saving civilization. I mean, think about one of the smartest men, the most richest men in the world, Elon Musk, who voted for Joe Biden in 2020, by the way. But look what he's doing now. He is putting everything on the line, his entire reputation, his career, to support President Trump because he knows that if America falls, there's nowhere else to go. Arizona, you know me as the happy warrior, right? Well, I'm also a pissed patriot, too. But I say I'm a happy warrior because the best warriors fight for what they love. And I love my country, and I know you do too. And look at President Trump, despite everything he's been going through, where they try to remove his name from the ballot, when they try to assassinate him. He was just at McDonald's the other day passing out Happy Meals. <laughs> you see that? 
And who does Kamala Harris hang out with? She's in, she's in Michigan with Liz Cheney. Amazing, amazing. Well, they can have Liz Cheney because you know who we've got. We've got RFK Jr. and Tulsi Gabbard. Arizona, I'm so proud of you. We've endured a lot over these past four years, truly. And right now, they've wanted to break our spirits, and yet I sense we are so motivated. We are going to rescue our country because President Trump never gave up on us, and we can never give up on him. And that's why, for these next 13 or 14 days, we have to go chase these ballots. Make sure you go out and vote, because everything is on the line. And believe me, they are not just after President Trump. They are after all of you and he's just standing in their way. So Arizona, I ask you again, are you ready to send President Trump back to the White House? I think President Trump could hear that on Trump Force One, probably. Well, Arizona, I love you. I'm always gonna fight for you when I'm in Congress. I know we've got big battles ahead of us, but right now we need courage. Courage not just from our leaders, but courage from every single one of us. It's, you know, we are fighting truly monsters, what they've done to us. And I want you to channel that anger and that passion into good. Because truly, God is on our side. We've been blessed with the best country in the history of uh, mankind. And it's up to us to save our country. So this November, let's give them a November to remember. Thank you so much, Arizona.